do a review on Fit Me Maybelline's um, new low coverage, minimal coverage um, foundation. And I am color 320. And I've been using this for about two weeks off and on. I'm, I'm really not a big foundation wearer. Like these are my normal foundations. Either CoverGirl Queen Collection and this is in Golden Honey. And then I have a black opal stick, cream stick in Truly Topaz. And that's normally what I use. Um, if I know I'm going to be going somewhere taking a lot of pictures or something, then that's when I do it. But I'm trying to get my skin to um, be even all the way through without having foundation. So when Maybelline came out with this Fit Me foundation, I said okay, because it was light. It wasn't. They were claiming it wasn't cakey, and it's true. Um, like I said, I've been using it for two weeks now. About every couple days, because I really don't go anywhere where I need to have foundation on or whatever. So today I'm just going to do like a quick me doing, putting it on. I also got the concealer to go with it. And um, it's like concealer, blush, foundation, and a powder. And this one is in Cafe, the concealer. So I'm just going to put the foundation on. I put my foundation on first and then I put my concealer on. So I'm just, so you can see it on my hand. It's a little runny. So that's it. I'm just going to take my foundation brush from e.l.f. and just apply it. Like I said, it's really light. It's not um, heavy. I find that it doesn't streak. And it's just enough coverage, especially if you don't have, if you just have minimal blemishes, um, under eye circles, things like that. It's not, um, it's, it's pretty much for that. If you don't like that cakey feeling, but you just want to have a little something on your face, I recommend this. I think they do need to expand some of their colors, though, because after this shade which I am, I think it was like one other darker shade, and I think that's 355. So they definitely need to expand their colors for women of color because it is a good makeup line, but, you know, as with most companies, unfortunately, they don't, um, kind of cover everyone like they should. But it is 18 shades, but it's still, for the women of color, the expansion needs to um, go a little darker and maybe a little red because a lot of people that have like I have um, red undertones in my skin so a lot of the colors like this normally have yellow and it gives you that mask look so I was pleased to find out that this one was my color but it didn't have yellow as much yellow in it my mom always tells the story when I came out I was beet red like for three months after I was born so it kind of looks like I have yellow undertones but red is my predominant one okay so we're just going to blend into the chin so you don't have any get into the nose and so now you can see the difference more even all the way around and it um, has kind of like have a polished finish to it. So now we're just going to apply the concealer. Like I said this is in Cafe. It just comes with a little sponge tip and I'm just going to put it around my under eye circles and around my nose area. It gets a little oil red around there. And um, I have a little mark right here. Okay. So I'm just going to take my concealer brush and just pat it in.
voila and that is the finished look i normally go over it with some powder and the powder i use is uh, mary Kay's something powder i don't know i forgot the shade of it but that's the shade that i use and I just dab it with my e.l.f. powder brush and just I normally get oily right on my t-zone so I just try to concentrate the powder right there the reason why I didn't get the powder that went with the fit me was because they, did, they ran out so I definitely like it so but I like to Especially with makeup, I try not to buy anything that I still have a lot of. So, this powder, as you can see, I, I, like I said, I don't really wear, wear foundation like that. So, it works, so I'm just going to use it. And it's the same color. And there we go. So, let me know if any of you have tried the Maybelline Fit Me and what do you think about it. Like I said, I like it. I like the consistency. It's not cakey. It gives me a nice oil-free finish. But like I said, they do need to expand their colors to include more uh, women of color shades, like deeper mahogany skin tones. So let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching.